This is the chain stitch. It's a basic embroidery stitch and it forms a line of interlocking loops. Chain stitch can be used as a filling. It can also be used as a decorative stitch. You can lace it with other threads and it also forms the basis of many composite stitches. So it's very versatile. We're going to start with a short line from right to left. Left handers would work from left to right. And you're going to take the needle down into your fabric in the same hole you came out of. Leave a little bit of thread on the top of your fabric in the form of a loop and come up inside the loop and pull your thread forward. So again, down into the hole that you came out of, which is inside your previous stitch now, and then come up inside the loop on your working thread and pull forward. So that's one method of working the chain stitch and it's called the stab method. Now we can sew the chain stitch as well. So just scooping up a bit of the fabric, bringing your needle right back up, come up inside the loop of your working thread and pull forward. So again, down inside your previous stitch in the hole you came out of, scoop up a little bit of the fabric, come up inside the loop of the working thread and pull forward. And sometimes your thread will tangle up a bit. Just use your needle to straighten it out. So back down inside the loop you came out of and then leave a little loop on the front of your fabric, come up inside the loop and pull forward. Again, down inside the hole, leave a little loop, come up inside the loop and then pull forward. So you can see the line of interlocking loops here. And when you come to the end of your line to end it, you just want to stitch a little anchor stitch right over your last stitch and pull through. And that is the chain stitch. For more tips and techniques on hand embroidery, stop by and visit me at Needle and Thread.